Podcast Gang, welcome back to another video. It's your boy KG back in the workshop studio. Hope all you guys having a blessed day. Feeling pretty hyped up myself, guys. Uh, talked to my man Jared, Jared Farron yesterday. Shout out to the whole JTG, uh, J Toys Gang. Uh, talked to my brother for like almost an hour yesterday. Uh, he lifted my spirit. Hope I did the same for him, man. Uh, you know, we just talk about that cast, man. We talked for about an hour, man. Just the time just flew back. You know, I was talking to my brother, so you know, it's always good to talk to one of my diecast brothers. Uh, real quick, shout out to Thomas Cox. Uh, he commented on my last video when you gonna drop the new intro. I thought the old one was dope. Uh, if you watched the beginning of this video, I hope you. Uh, Enjoyed the new intro, uh, Thomas. Uh, I did like maybe 12 or 13 different videos, guys. I, I couldn't, no joke, I couldn't decide. I was trying to keep it under a minute long. Uh, the reason I wanted to drop a new intro is because the old one really wasn't wasn't my um, wasn't my own work, wasn't my own pictures, photos, or recordings, so, uh, I'm glad to finally drop something, hope you guys enjoyed it, and, uh, that's about it, man, we lie, uh, I replied to comment on Thomas Cox, uh, comment, I said, uh, thanks a lot, I've been working on it, and I still haven't came up with what I really want, it's kind of hard because I want, because I wanted to be short, laughing out loud, and that was the truth. Like uh, anybody who really knows me knows that I'm really picky, really, really picky about everything. Uh, I just a lot of times want things to be perfect, but we don't live in a perfect world. But you know, I shoot for the style. I try to make everything the best that I possibly can. And the same with my diorama. I just take, I just be real patient with, uh, with what I do and my work. So, um, real quick, uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button right now. Uh, hit the bell, turn on all post notifications. Uh, a lot of people don't know that it's free to uh, subscribe to your you any YouTube channel, guys. You don't have, it don't cost a damn to to hit subscribe. You'll be surprised, like, there's people actually that don't know, actually ran into somebody that don't know that it's free to subscribe, um, it's free to hit the bell, it's a bell over the subscribe button, hit the bell, turn on all post notifications so you won't miss a single video, um, uh, right now I got a giveaway going on, I have to mention it, I'm mentioning it in every video up until the giveaway, uh, it's 700 subscribers uh, from the very beginning of my YouTube, guys. I've been dedicated to doing these giveaways. I mentioned before I even had 100 subscribers that I was going to do a giveaway every every 100 subscribers, and I stayed true to that. Uh, now we have 700 subscribers. Uh, I'm really proud of that. Uh, I said I was going to go all the way to 1,000. So in all actuality, I have three more to go, three more giveaways coming up, guys. And the way I have it going now, I have you guys choosing from five different items. If you want to see the items, you can go back and watch the uh, the 700 subscriber video that I put up uh, about a week ago. So you have until the first of March, okay, at midnight. So it's like six more days left uh, to get involved in this giveaway. Uh, all you have to do is go watch the video and subscribe to the channel. It's real simple to answer. I'm going to be doing a drawing live on Facebook uh, probably this Saturday because the, the, uh, the first is on a Wednesday. So it's kind of awkward. Man. You know, the giveaway is going to end that Wednesday at midnight. On the first, so the drawing 
for the giveaway will be held on Facebook live that following Saturday. I'm just gonna get up and do it. Uh, I'm gonna try to go on about 11 p. 11 a.m. Central Time. And uh, anybody who follows me on Facebook already, that's uh, that's uh, entered into the giveaway. You will be able to, to go on and, follow, and watch the live when I go on. Okay, uh, I do have a list of all the names of people who entered the giveaway. Right now, we currently at 13 entries. Uh, good luck to all you guys. If I comment on your uh, on your comment, if I comment it back, okay, cool, you're in. That means you're in the giveaway. That's how I uh, commented on everybody's post. So, uh, with that being said, good luck to everybody. Uh, I'm gonna get right into this to this video. I got an unboxing I want to do. I just got a mail call. Mail call, gang. Get it out the box right now, gang. I'm going to take it just to show you guys this video. On. All right, guys. Here we are, fresh out the box. Here we have the 2016 Chevy Corvette Stingray. More like the C7 style. Crosshairs from Transformers. I received this in the mail. I ordered it online. It's something I've been wanting for a really, really long time, gang. And I'm a big fan of, of movie cars and all the different uh, things that Jada's putting out. The cartoon vehicles and the food vehicles. The, they have cereal and candy and all type of things going on right now, but trying to keep up this is like a throwback I do have Bumblebee and Hot Rod and all of the Optimus Primes now so this is a, a great ad uh, I'm kind of disappointed a little bit gang because the majority of these Transformer vehicles like this even Crosshairs they come with like a little coin uh I believe I have all the coins to all the other ones besides the uh, besides Optimus Prime they didn't come with a coin but Bumblebee came with like a little die cast coin um, Hot Rod came with a coin let me see if I can okay that wasn't nothing surfboard fell down okay I found one I just grabbed Hot Rod coin. I'm just gonna show you guys what it looked like. Oh, this is Bumblebee. This is what it looks like on the front and back. It has Transformers. Um, it came with like a little stand where you can set your coin on. I do have one for Hot Rod. Um, this one didn't come with one, so I'm a little bit just a little bit disappointed about that but don't too much care not it's not a major thing I don't really care about the coin I really care about the car so we're gonna get out the box here's a look at the box here's a look at the other uh, the other ones here in this example as you can see you'll see an example of the coin here go to four comes with the coin and the Ford that comes without it I didn't pay attention when I ordered it online so this is what I ended up with but I'm also missing this barricade police car it looks like a, a charger um, that's the only one I'm missing and that's the one that I was least interested in but to complete the set now, I might have to go ahead and grab that. But I'm going to get this out the box again. And we're going to take a closer look at it. Let's get it. Let's go. Alright guys, here we have it. 2016 Chevy Corvette Stingray. Crosshairs.
very nice piece guys really love the details on this really nice edition There's transformers on the, on the plate. It's hard to see because it's so glary. But guys, I didn't tell you, I didn't mention that we're gonna be wheel swapping this. Right out the right out the door. Right out the package, rather. And I'm gonna be wheel swapping it with the Justin. Belly slab. I have this Fast and Furious hands very belly slab with uh, I've seen this mod already done on Facebook and it is what inspired me to do it I thought it looked really awesome so what I'm going to do is do a wheel swap I'm going to take the wheels off of this and we're going to get it on the Corvette now the Corvette doesn't have any Chrome on it, besides the motor, and as you can see, the belly slide don't have any chrome on it either. Besides the exhaust, <laughs> well, the exhaust of the Corvette too. But uh, it doesn't matter, guys. I think these wheels are really gonna pop on this car. And I think they're gonna fit the wheel wells real nice. So um I'm gonna get right to it, gang. I'm not gonna do the do it on video like I usually do, but I'm gonna explain to you guys for you if you guys watch me for the first time, uh the all you guys that don't know, I'm gonna heat the axle or the rod that connects the two wheels and in between. I'm heat it up, heat it up with a with my heating tool. You can use a sodden iron. I got a wood burning tool, but we gonna heat it up and then make it easy to, to snatch these wheels off. And I'm gonna do the wheel swap. And then I'm gonna let you guys see. I'm gonna get the wheels in my Corvette. But this um, belly slide, I had two of them. It just so happened I purchased. Um, one without the figure first. Thanks a lot, Jada Jada Toys, for um, putting them out like that out of order. If you ask me, I thought they should have dropped the one without the with, with the figure first. That way, I would have had. Not ended up with two of them, so I have the one I bought without the figure first, and I'll show you on my shelf over here, right there. I have hands. Another one with the figure sitting next to it, so I don't mind uh, dedicating this one for the wheel swap. And I'm also thinking about sending this one off to Flavor Tech Customs. Put his name right here on the screen so you can see, gang. But uh, Hanif Yusuf, I'm hoping I'm saying your last name right. But Hannah over at Flavor Tech, he does custom mods. He paints the cars, custom wheels, uh, interiors, and, and uh, I think he's doing decals also now. He's done a few cars for me, and they really come out amazing. So I'm thinking about getting this car painted, and I'm gonna take the wheels off. So I'm gonna see if he has some wheels for me, and if you want me to showcase some of his work in a future video let me know down in the comments I'll be happy to do that but like I said before guys we're gonna get to this wheel swap let's get right to it I'm gonna get it done and I'm gonna show you guys all right that guys gang here it is here it is wheel swap done yes sir -ski. uh I think it looks really, really nice game. Let me give you guys an idea. And there we have it. I can the game. I 
just went on ahead and threw the, the C7 wheels. I guess you can call it a C7. You know. It's really a uh, Corvette thing, right? But I just threw the, them wheels on the RX-7. Just so it won't have no wheels at all. It's kind of stiff. Put them on there, but it didn't, it's not perfect, but didn't really have a lot of time, so some of you guys might like how that look. <laughs> and I don't know, it's a sensitive subject, guys. Just to uh, reiterate, I'll kind of touch on that, guys. Uh, just recently, somebody posted in one of my uh, Facebook posts on my comments on one of my photos that they didn't like the wheels on one of my cars. And, you know, we were like really zero tolerance for negative comments within the Facebook groups. So, uh, same thing here on, on YouTube. Guys, we try to keep it respectful. Keep the comments respectful, guys. Uh, so far, on YouTube, we have 0%. Uh, um, how can I say it? Nobody's been out of line, pretty much, on YouTube. So, you know, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Keep it positive. Keep your heads up. You know, and everything will work itself out. But I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I hope you guys like this wheel swap. If you do, let me know down in the comments. If you don't like it, you know, to each his own. You don't have to know if you don't like it. It's not for you. It's for me. That's just the way it is. Love this Camaro, guys. Let's another look at this. This thing. They're getting a lot of attention. You know, Facebook, I love the wheels. Now we had a vet. The two Chevys hitting it hard. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to stop in that game, but hope you guys once again enjoy the content. And hope you all you have a blessed day. And until next video, guys, peace and love. I'm out.